Welcome to the rabbit hole. Today, we will dig into AUSD. It's a brand new kind of stable coin. Let's take a look. Come on. All right. Welcome to the AUSD rabbit hole. Now, I just want to let y'all know right off the top, I am not a computer programmer. I am a rabbit. But I did make this chart with my very own paws. And it's my best understanding of how AUSD works. So let's just take a quick look see. AUSD is a novel stable coin. That means it's a new kind of stable coin that's never existed before. It's a new kind of setup. And it was created by Input Output Global. Uh, Y'all know them. That's Charles Hoskinson's company made Cardano. Also made by Emergo, who also created Cardano. And the Ergo Foundation. And two lead fellers over at Ergo, why, why they're just two guys from Emergo and Input Output Global. So y'all could kind of say it's a Cardano show over here. Or some people say Ergo is a kissing cousin of Cardano. Now, I don't know if y'all have kissing cousins, but... Here in the rabbit world, we do, and there is nothing wrong with that. Now, Ergo is a proof-of-work smart contract uh, blockchain, whereas Cardano is a proof-of-stake smart contract blockchain. So we got to understand, AUSD does not run on Cardano. It runs on Erg, which is a native cryptocurrency of Ergo. However, the scuttlebutt is that this is how stable coins will also function on Cardano if the AUSD is successful. And so this new design, well, it features one thing which is called simplicity. Uh, not like a programming language, I mean, just in reality, it's just simple. See, because there's only two kinds of users and four possible actions. So you got one fella over here and, and he can just go kind of go in and out like that. And you got one fella over here and she can just kind of go in and out like that. And, and that's basically all there is to it. And this kind of style is intended to make liquidation events impossible. <laughs> well, you piqued my ears. And so, here we have our first user, the AGUSD user. And that person puts in some ERG and they get some AGUSD because they, they want that stability of the U.S. dollar. And we might as well say right now, it does not have to be the U.S. dollar. I mean, there can be various contracts tied to whatever stable currency you want. So it can be the peso or the ruble or or whatever, euro or whatever else you're you're interested in stabilizing. Now, this works dollar for dollar and it's pretty much risk-free, except that the ERG person cannot make more AUSD unless there's enough collateral in here. I mean, because you know, if the price of ERG stays the same, it's not really a problem. If the price goes up, it's not really a problem. But if the price of the underlying asset loses value below the amount of AUSD that's minted, well, then it's not stable anymore, and it's not pegged anymore, and the whole thing gets broke. So there's got to be some collateral in here that's a buffer zone to make sure that there's always enough that this stays pegged to the underlying currency. And this 200% is in asterisks because that's just a number that they're using right now, and that could change possibly in the future, but that's what it is at the moment. So we have our second user over here. That's our reserve coin user. Now, we got to be real real clear with the reserve coin user. Now, you are either a very intelligent person or you're just an idiot, and there ain't no in-between. Now, if you're a reserve coin user, you really got to believe, I mean, you got to believe, the price of the underlying asset is going to go up over time. In this case, ERG, maybe in the future, ADA in order to take this kind of ris risk and, and be a collateral provider. Because if, if that don't happen, you're, 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 you're going to be hurting. So let's talk about how this side works. So you put in some, you do believe that the price is going to go up. And so you put in some collateral to make sure this person over here has the pleasure of being able to go in and out with comfort, knowing that that thing's always tied to that value like it's supposed to be. And so the, Person on this side, they're making money in a few ways, okay? They're making money because, one, m plenty of people are believing the same thing, and they're putting in a lot of collaterals in here. And, and as the collateral gets further out, uh, the, the value of the overall contract goes up a little bit. That's not necessarily bringing in a lot of money to you, but it's making it 
easy and liquid and making sure everything's safe. So it's a safety feature. There's appreciation and underlying asset. That's really where all your money, that's really where you're getting getting the big bucks right there. And then fees. So right now they're looking at a 2% fee every time you go in and out on either side of the contract. So you, you trade here, you're going to pay 2%. You're going to pay 2% every single time you go in and out. And then for developers, just as an aside, now y'all can charge an optional two point uh an optional point two five percent for developing the front end UI. And we're actually gonna take a look at that in a minute. But before we get there, let's just talk about some of the exceptions to this side of the contract. And the first one is if the reserves go below two hundred percent collateral, you cannot reserve change back out of the reserve coin. So if you have reserve coin and this contract gets below 200% collateralized, you, you got to hold on to that coin. You can't, you can't trade it out. You just stuck with it until the collateral gets over 200% again. Okay. And secondly, you, you cannot make more just sort of like on the same side of this contract. If there's not enough collateral, you can't make more HUSD on this side. If this thing gets too over collateralized, you won't be able to make more reserve coin because that, that's just watering down the value for everyone else that's already inside of here. So there, there's a point where it could get oversaturated. That's like the extreme extra bull case, I, I suppose. So how does this actually work like with, with, with value, with real, if you're, okay, because let's say you're going into this contract and the price of ERG is a dollar. Right, and so our, our reserve coin user puts in 200 erg and gets 200 reserve coin, and now it's 200 percent collateralized. So there's enough money in there for this person to go and put 100 dollars, and so this person over here has 100 and this person has two, and if the price stays the same, well, well then you can just trade back out your AGUSD for the same 100, and with the reserve coin, you just trade it back out for the same 200. Now, there were some fees, so probably the reserve coin user will have made a little bit of money there. And so that's something, to, but I'm not exactly sure. So, so I'm just putting it with, with just straight value of the underlying asset. If the price goes up of the res, of, of ERG, goes up to 110, then the, this person with the AUSD, well, they're going to trade back out, but they only get back 90.9 erg because the value of erg's gone up, and that's that's what that dollar value is worth at that point in time. And so the reserve coin user gets that. See, that's where that. So that person made nine extra, 9.1 extra. So they they got the extra dime of the underlying asset going up, but they also got 9.1 more of them. So it's a little bit of an interest payment, but it's important. It's real important to know if that price goes down. Well, well if that price goes down, uh, you just you're just, you're just not you're just not feeling good. Cause see, first of all, you wouldn't even be able to trade out your reserve coin until something happened where it got collateralized, correct again. But if even if you could, the AUSD person's going to get 111.12 erg back. Cause that's that's what it. Three dollars, three two hundred. That's what a hundred dollars worth of ergs worth. But you're only going to have eighty-eight point eight. So you you lost even more than you won, and that is why you really got to believe that the price is going to go up over time. So that is the peas and carrots of it. I do have a couple of thoughts. So as of now, April twenty twenty-one, AGUSD does not exist. It is on the way, and it's going to be coming from Ergo, and it is expected, I imagine, around the time of the smart contracts on Cardano. So in the next three months or so, maybe less, it's got a simple design. It's intended to make liquidation events obsolete. That sounds nice. Now, the, what we still don't know exactly what happens if the price of the underlying asset goes down by, like, say, 70% real fast, and and then this is not collateralized. What Ergo, I think, has said is that there would, one, be some hope that there will be more people wanting to come in, hoping when the market stabilizes, they'll get an outsized profit off of that. 
or they have said something about issuing bonds of some kind, but I'm not really sure. There uh, has already been an attempt at making this. The people in the ERG community have made something called Sigma USD, and it already exists, and it's based exactly on this model. They made this a few months, about a month ago, and it, within five days it shut down because some whale was front run and basically doing arbitrage. And so they, they made some changes to the protocol already from what the initial design was. So now there's this 2% fee. Initially it was a 1% fee. That did not prove expensive enough to stop a whale from going in and out of the contract. So they had to shut it down. Now this is actually V2. See, v one down here. They re Looks like they just re Establish this one. No one's even used it yet, so we'll see. I don't even. I don't even know if it's working at the moment. But the, the new version is going to have a two percent fee instead of a one percent fee. They're going to have Oracle data points every thirty minutes. So initially it was sixty minutes, and I don't know what the technology. I don't know if that can be every ten or five or two. I mean, I don't know what that means for that. That's expensive or too hard. But at the moment, it's every 30 minutes, and, and the Oracle data points, they cannot fluctuate more than 4%. So no matter what happens in the real world, inside of the contract, it cannot move more than 4% every 30 minutes. From my perspective, it appears the AGUSD gives this ERG a use case. Now, there could be 10 million use cases for all I know, but I never heard of them. But I did hear this, so here we are. And, and and why would anyone even care? It, it's because we got this thing called liquid finance coming up. Uh, this is the first or one of the first uh, DeFi protocols coming on Cardano next month or two when smart contracts become available. And they have already said – here's their white paper. might be of interest to you. They have already said that – this is in their Medium article – that they are going to support on launch or shortly after ADA, USDC, Age USD, ERG, and LQ. LQ being their token, liquidity token, or liquid finance token, the liquid token. And so we already know that Age USD and ERG are going to be used in DeFi associated with Cardano coming up in the next couple months. At least that's how it looks from my eyeballs. Now, now with now with ADA, you're already making five percent staking, so you, you really got to think you're going to make some really good money if you're going to go in and be a, a, a reserve coiner for ADA. Because I'm already making five percent staking, right? So why would I put it in here? <laughs> Except perhaps they can auto stake, you know? So like over this over collateralized that's not being used. You know, for for age USD, maybe that can be staked, and and so the pool is making five percent, and, and on top of you know, that may or may not work. I don't know. And, and then we have to wonder if we're being all created by the same more or less people, and all using that EUTXO. You know, these things going to be interoperable at some point. Just got to wonder. Well, anyway, I just want to say thank y'all. If y'all like this, uh, you can actually like it and subscribe it. And if you do, well, maybe we'll make some more because because then I'll know it's worth some. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, dropping shorts. And if if y'all like this infographic, mosey on down to creativecongo.com/forward/slash/cryptv.